we're talking about wobble, vibration, and resonance. What are they and how they affect your experience with the ultra swing? So first off, we want to talk about wobble. Wobble is defined as unsteady movement from side to side. So as I can illustrate, when we talk about wobble, that's why we can talk about the ultra swing having zero wobble. And you can check out some of our other videos that show in an off-road application that there is zero wobble on the ultra swing. So next off, we want to talk about vibration. Vibration can be this kind of unspoken killer of anything on your rig. And so some of the ways that we combat the issues of vibration is by every piece of hardware on the ultra swing being nylocked and by having a soft mount compression rubber latch system that allows for a certain amount of movement rather than over time some sort of crack or catastrophic failure. All right, so the third point we want to talk about is resonance. Now, you're on the highway doing about 65 or 70 miles an hour, you sometimes feel this sort of pulsating feeling in your rig. Well, that energy has to be transferred somewhere. And in the case of our carrier, particularly given running a full-size spare, maybe a bike rack, fuel, etc., that energy is gonna move its way from your vehicle all the way back into the carrier. Now, as you can see, I take my pinky, Over time, I can build up some oscillation. All right, so we've all done this test, maybe with a buddy's bumper or maybe even an ultra swing. What you have to remember with that is the carrier is never operating independently of your rig. Those two are always moving as a unit. So as I said, you've got to remember that the ultra swing is never moving independent of your vehicle. Unless your rear shocks are just two by fours, you're never going to see that on the trail. All right, now I can't recommend that you go trying this test in a parking lot from a liability standpoint, but a more accurate way to represent what the ultra swing is actually doing on the trail would be to do this. Even with the added leverage of bike racks, you can see that everything is gonna move together. All right, so we hope this helps you have a better understanding of the difference between on-road resonance, off-road use, and a parking lot shakedown. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email to support at rigsupply.com or leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you and we'll see you on the trails.